Well, I am in to Sam and Garfunkel big time. I like, I love them. They're like uh, what I listened to when I was growing up with my parents. Um, and that song in particular, it's on the Bridge Over Troubled Water album, I think. Yeah, yeah. And um, it's just a horrendously good tune, really. Like, uh, we, I don't know when we first started listening to it. I used to listen to it in the car with Charlie on the way back because we used to go to school together. And I, we, I used to put it on and like try and distract him as much as I could from driving. <laughs> I, um, I used to like grab him, and I, I, <laughs> you, you used to let me do the gears sometimes. <laughs> Remember that? I used to, I used to put the clutch down. And I was like uh, third, second, like going. Like, <laughs> was going mental. Um, and it's got like a really good horn section. Uh, this bit at the end where these horns are just playing so loud and so high, it's just great. And we we listen to it at work as well. Yeah, because it's got work themes. Mm. It's got the. Uh, that thing so once like, all the customers are gone because we work in a bar me and Casper do we'll chuck that on and like lose our minds Katy Perry Teenage Dream is like the ultimate pop song I think it's got like it's really like t- like thin compressed guitars and like it's just it just slaps so hard as soon as it comes into the chorus it's so huge and like it's massive. It's like bigger than it should be. Yeah. It doesn't make any sense why, it, like, the, the verse is like sort of really like this, and then the chorus is just like, ah! It comes in like super hard, and it just, you can't help but love it. It's amazing. It's a great pop song. Two Halves is the lead single from the new Richard Dawson record, which is called 2020, I think. Yeah. Um, and. Richard Dawson's like a sort of English folk singer, but it's like medieval folk. Um, but subject matter wise, it's kind of brought into the 21st century with stuff to do with the frustrations of like modern living and uh, stories of chi- like childhood, personal stories, and then also like uh, fictional stories that he'll kind of weave in this kind of linear narrative throughout his songs. And this song, Two Halves, is about being a child and playing a football game and all the ups and downs of trying to impress your dad and then, like, messing up in front of everybody and being really embarrassed and then, like, not ha- like having to face your dad at the end. And, and, uh, but it's told in this really, as I say, like, linear fashion. And uh, it's just really unique. He's a really unique songwriter in the way that he does things. I don't know of anyone who is taking that like really antiquated kind of medieval folk sound and bringing it into the 21st century in the way that he does. Mega Train from Nottingham, our hometown. Really amazing band, the duo of Felix and Tiger. Uh, they supported us a couple of times in their song, Diana. It's really weird. Lyrically, it's really strange. It's about, well, it seems like it's really surreal, but it actually they actually found a car broken down with full of shit, just full of that, like loads of stuff. There was like a kitchen sink in there. There was like bricks, all sorts of stuff. <laughs> and then, but they like the main thing they sort of like focused it around was there was like a weird sort of shrine to Princess Diana in there. But like nobody knew whose car this was or why it was like that. So it was sort of about yeah how like unusual that situation was. And it's really clever, it's really beautiful acoustic ballad, but like lots of their stuff when they play live is more electric and a bit sort of harder and like more, more electronics incorporated into it. They're a really great band and you should listen to them now. Now. Mm-hmm. 